I'm the Disc Golf Guy, and this is my Super Tour Players Meeting. We are here at the 2014 Greater Milwaukee Open, presented by Legacy Discs. That's right, this is a PDGA A tier for all of our top professionals, and a B tier for all of the other divisions. Welcome to the show. We're going to go over a few rules, a few details for you guys, and we'd like for you to go ahead and re-reference this anytime, whether you're out on the course or you have any other questions or you're driving from course to course. Hopefully this video will provide all the answers that you're looking for. Of course, we've got to thank all of our amazing supporters and sponsors, including our presenting sponsor in Legacy Discs. They have helped to put together an amazing players package for you guys, which not only consists, consists of some pretty sweet discs, you're also going to get your hands on some of the legend plastic. Hats, discs, you name it. Also, Legacy shirts. Brand new, just released Legacy shirts. Uh, we hope that you enjoy them. And of course, that brings us right to Miles Parkhill over at Paragon. Amazing guy, amazing supporter of everything that is disc golf. And Miles has been just awesome. So if you need anything, make sure you check out Paragon Disc Golf. So thank you so much, Miles. We also have some uh, other sponsors in the Great Lakes Disc Golf Club. Also, Riverside Disc Golf Shop, Johnny Rumble, and the entire Pecunia family, as well as Mark the Shark Peterson, along with the Great Lakes Disc Golf Club. So thank you to all of our amazing supporters and sponsors. And last but not least, with more than $2,000 added to the purse, besides my pocketbook and Skyline, well, we've got to thank an anonymous donor. And I'm going to leave you hanging with just that. An anonymous donor is someone that stepped up and gave us a sizable contribution for us to be able to make this an A tier this year. Another awesome part to this PDGA Super Tour event, it's a Maple Hill Open qualifying event. That's right, three lucky people will earn themselves spots at the Maple Hill Open. Not familiar with that? Well, that's because it's the Vibram Open, renamed this year. That's Steve Dodge, he's a, he's a wily and crazy guy, so Yes, this is a Maple Hill Open Qualifier, three spots at stake. If you're interested in becoming uh, one of those people eligible, make sure you see me before Saturday morning's round and give me the $10 qualifying amount, and you also then could have your chance to earn your way into the Maple Hill Open. So you're probably asking, where do I check in for this amazing event before it gets started? Come on out to Dretzka Park on Friday from 4 to 8, and you can get checked in at that point Maybe even has first dibs at some of those sweet legend line discs or some of the other sweet items in the players pack. So come check in from 4 to 8 on Friday night at Dretzka Park. That is the park that hosts both Dretzka Original as well as Dretzka New. If you can't make the check in there, that's fine. Just go to your course on Saturday morning, find yourself on whatever hole you're on, and you're good to go. If you didn't get your player pack at that point, Come on over to Dretzka, whether it's Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening, and uh, we'll get you all taken care of then. Again, 4 to 8 on Friday, or you can just do it after your round uh, once the event has already started. Tee off. We are going straight to a tee at 9.02 both days. At 9.02, we will be teeing off. That means we'll have a two-minute warning at 9 o'clock, and at 9.02, we will have our tee off. That's both days, both Saturday and Sunday. Just be on your tee. No player meeting. None of that action. Ain't nobody got time for that. We're just going straight to the tee off. And we'll talk about ace pools. Ace pools are respective within your own pool. And so if there is three aces in the A pool, then they split it amongst themselves. Aces in the B pool split it amongst themselves. And aces in the C pool split amongst themselves. There's going to be lots of opportunities for aces out there. All aces split all weekend, but that's within your pool. Let's say there's two in the A pool and four in the B pool. They all split accordingly and none in the C pool. That C pool money will be donated to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. We'll simply donate it to them. We'll make a contribution to a good cause. And the ace pool will go to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society if not hit. There will not be any playing off for it. Let's talk a little bit about the pools. I know I've already released a video, but I'll give you another quick rundown. A pool is all of our professionals, pro men, pro women, pro masters, and pro grandmasters. They're gonna go from easier to hard throughout the entire weekend. You're gonna start at the very deuce or die, birdieable Dretzka New. You're gonna move over to Dretzka Original, and then you're gonna go to Brown Deer on Sunday morning. Tee off, what time again? 9.02. 
All right, your B pool with all of the advanced players, advanced men, advanced women, advanced masters, advanced grandmasters. You guys are going to have a little bit different schedule. You're going to go starting very challenging at Brown Deer on Saturday morning. You're going to come over and play Dretzka New, and then you will cap it off on Sunday morning with Dretzka Original. A and B pools play Dretzka Original from the long tees. Let me repeat that. A pool and B pool play Dretzka Original from the long tees. All right, and that leaves us with our C pool who are going to be playing Dretzka Original from the short tees. Dretzka Original from the short tees. Then they're going to go to Brown Deer Saturday afternoon, and on Sunday that leaves them with Dretzka New. Again, Dretzka New to cap it off on Sunday morning. I'll repeat. A pool and B pool will play from the long tees at Dretzka Original. Both Dretzka New and the course at Brown Deer only have one set of tees, so you'll be playing from all be playing from those. But at Dretzka Original, you play from the long tees in A and B, and you play from the short tees in C. I think I've driven that all the way home. After everyone has played 54 holes of golf, there's just nine holes that will remain, and those are for our top four players in the open division. The top four based on score in the open division, you will play nine additional holes, which we will announce later. You'll play those nine holes that will count toward your score, and that's how we would determine our open champion for the Greater Milwaukee Open. Just before we have that, we're going to have a brief Hall of Fame induction ceremony, a very special honor, a very special occasion. It may or may not be a secret to you, but there's a hint in this video if you're really watching. But anyway, come on out. Please support. We're going to have a very brief Hall of Fame induction ceremony just before the final nine kickoff. Uh, we want you to be there. We hope that you enjoy it and support our Hall of Fame inductee. Course rules are pretty straightforward for having three different courses. First and foremost, on or over the road, a paved road, is in fact out of bounds. That applies at all three courses. It can happen at all three courses. On or across roads are considered out of bounds. All water that you find on the course in any of the three courses is casual water. Check your book, but you should know you can play up to five meters directly behind in a casual water situation with no penalty stroke. It must be directly in line with the basket and your mini. It has to be directly in line. It's not off to the sides, left or right, like an OB situation. It's directly behind up to five meters with no penalty stroke. We've got just two mandos on the course. You're going to see that over on hole five of Dretzka New. If you miss that mando, you, t you take a penalty stroke and you're gonna just simply re-tee from there. You almost have to try to miss that Mando. So unless you're trying to get crazy and take a route, um, you shouldn't miss that. But there is a Mando on hole five. Penalty stroke and re-tee. Hole 15 of Dretzka Original, this applies to both A and B pools. There it's a little bit different. If you miss the Mando, which is the light pole, and you need to go left of the Mando, if you miss the Mando on hole 15, you then proceed to the short tee, and you play from the drop zone there, which is the short tee. You get a one stroke penalty from the short tee and you play from there. Let's take a brief moment to go see what that crazy Terry Miller and Johnny Rumble are cooking up for you on hole 17 at Dretzka New. Very important you watch this. Hole 17, Dretzka New rules, check them out. Not quite Winthrop Gold hole 17, but we're gonna give you a little bit of the fun elements of that hole anyway. So this is a very short hole measuring in at just over 200 feet and it's downhill. However, we have an island green. Yes, that means you need to land on the island green to be safe, otherwise you move to the drop zone. Let's say you can't make that island green or you want to lay up, we'll give you a safe zone for that as well. So your options are lay up onto the safe area and then throw over to the green, hopefully taking a safe three, or go for the green get on and then you're putting within that 33 foot circle however if you go for the green from the drop zone or from the tee and you miss it you go back to the drop zone and you throw from there with a penalty there it is hole 17 at dreads canoe your 2014 greater milwaukee open presented by legacy Dis. as always it wouldn't be a player meeting without some questions i'll, I'll field any questions that are out there right now in the gallery Anyone? Anyone? 
Yes, you, sir. Yeah, uh, what about casual water? Casual water. Yeah, uh, casual water was the question again. You have up to five meters directly in line with where your lie was with no penalty. There is no out of bounds water anywhere on these courses. So if you're in a puddle or you're in some water, you can play it casually and go up to five meters straight back with no penalty. Yes, sir, question. Yeah, what about hole four at Brown Deer? It's like a pond. It is like a pond, and we're gonna stay consistent and still treat that as casual water. Now remember, you have up to 15 feet directly behind your lie to take a stance. If you need more than that, then you are taking a one throw penalty and you're playing from wherever you need to behind there. But you have up to 15 feet for free, so to speak. Anything more than that, and you're gonna be taking a penalty stroke. At that point, you're probably getting what you deserve anyway, which would be like an OB penalty stroke. So just don't throw in the water on hole four at Brown Deer. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, what about the gravel road on 15? That's a great question. However, you kind of answered it right within the question by saying gravel. Earlier, we talked about paved roads. Well, it is not a paved road there on 15, so that will be completely in play. It looks like a service drive and it's gravelly. It's not paved, so it's going to be completely safe. You do not have to worry about being OB there. I will clarify, on hole one at Dretzka Original, though, you are teeing from across the cart path. Do not consider that cart path out of bounds or any issues with that cart path whatsoever. You're throwing from one side of the cart path to the other side of the cart path. It is a, we'll call it a paved sidewalk, but it is not a paved road. So do not worry about that. There is no out of bounds there. Uh, yep. Uh, what about the food? What? Who doesn't like food? This guy does. What we're gonna do is provide you with a small lunch on Saturday. It's gonna consist of a hot dog, chips, and a drink. So come on over to Dretzka Park. We've teamed up with the Chain, the, the chain Chasers, that's Skyline and Chain Chasers, to bring you a small lunch on Saturday. If you need more, there will be more for purchase. However, come on over to Dretzka's Park for lunch on Saturday. We'll get you set up with a hot dog, chips, and a beverage, and uh, you should be good to go the rest of the weekend. And then you're on your own for the food. Some of you already know that I try to get scores up as quickly as possible. Sometimes I'll even guess at scores and post them online before the round's done. We want to have those up as quickly as possible. So you will see scores for all your friends and family that are watching from afar. They will be up in between the rounds as well as immediately following the rounds, each of the of the three rounds. So we're gonna get those up for you as quickly and efficiently as we can. You'll be able to check out the round ratings, share them with your friends. Please uh, go ahead and use that hashtag GMO for the weekend if you're doing anything live out there. Hashtag GMO, let everyone know what's going on here at the Greater Milwaukee Open. So there you have it. That is your players meeting for the Greater Milwaukee Open presented by Legacy Discs. As they say, play with confidence.